The next chapter is in regards to spend, spending on one's family. Now generally in Islam, uh, when a person spends something for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is rewarded. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Saba, وَمَا أَنْفَقْتُمْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ فَهُوَ يُخْلِفُ Whatever you spend for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give it back to you. Uh, whether it's giving back to you in reward or giving back to you the physical money uh, that you spent for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So generally anything that we spend is for Allah, that is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward us. And as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this hadith reported by Abu Mus'ud al-Badari radiallahu anhu, he said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِذَا أَنْفَقَ الرَّجُلُ عَلَىٰ أَهْلِهِ نَفَقَةً يَحْتَسِبُهَا فَهِيَ لَهُ صَدَقَةً that a person, even if he spends for the sake of his family, uh, and he anticipates reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him the reward of sadaqah. So even when we spend on our family, our weekly groceries, gifts, things of this nature, for our wives, for our children, uh, this all counts as sadaqah. Uh, and as mentioned in another hadith reported by Sa'd ibn Abi Waqqas radiallahu anhu, he says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, وَإِنَّكَ لَن تُنْفِقْ نَفَقَةً تَبْتَغِي بِهَا وَجْهَ اللَّهِ إِلَّا أُجِرْتَ بِهَا حَتَّى مَا تَجَعْلُ فِي فِي إِمْرَأَتِكَ مُتَّفَقٌ عَلَيْهِ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, anything that you spend for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, anticipating reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards you, even the food or the morsel of food, the spoonful of food that you give to your wife to eat, even for that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards you. So uh, spending you know, groceries, clothing for our wives, for our children, for our parents, all of this is uh, accepted as sadaqah in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the first hadith report of Abu Hurair radiallahu anh, he mentions that the most rewarding, أَعْظَمُهَا أَجْرًا الَّذِي أَنْفَقْتَهُ عَلَىٰ أَهْلِكَ from amongst all the different sadaqah you could give. You could give in the path of Allah. You could give it for the sake of uh, giving it to the less fortunate. You could give uh, spending on your family. Uh, here in the hadith it's mentioned even giving for the sake of freeing a slave. Obviously in the time of the Prophet wasallam, freeing a slave is of great reward. And after the Prophet wasallam mentioned all of these different types of sadaqah, the Prophet wasallam said, أَعْظَمُهَا أَجْرًا the most rewarding, the most, the greatest in reward in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, الَّذِي أَنْفَقْتَهُ عَلَىٰ أَهْلِكَ is that money that you spent for the sake of your family. So uh, the money that even we, we earn and we spend on our family, if a person does it in some of these hadith, uh, the word anticipating is reward. يَحْتَسِبُهَا He anticipates reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward him. So something maybe we can do in our daily lives, uh, have the intention when we are buying things for our family, for our children, to make that niyyah, make that intention of reward, doing it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, anticipating reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to act upon what has been said. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallah wa bihamdik, nashhadu wa la ilaha illa ant, nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Thank <laughs> you.